All right, let's jump over to the Wolves, who reportedly want to keep Rudy Gobert for a long time. Now, you mentioned Gobert's contract situation. Let's take a, a peek at that here. Uh, does have that player option for next summer. Also extension eligible. So where, where do you see this going? Rudy Gobert, 32 years old, actually got played off the floor a bunch in the Olympics, but part of that was because Wemby is manning the middle there uh, for France. But 32-year-old Rudy Gobert coming off of Defensive Player of the Year campaign this last season. The Wolves have hit another level. What do they do here with, with Gobert, given his age, the extension eligibility, the player option for next summer? How do you see them navigating this? Yeah, given he's... 32 and where the wolves cap sheet and tax bill is at going forward. Yeah. And like you said, Nas Reed also with a player option, something's going to have to give. They're not both probably going to be on the team next year, unless somebody's really given a team friendly. My guess mm -hmm. is what you'd like to do is, Hey, we're going to extend you, but we're going to knock that salary down a little bit. If we can, like we're yeah. going to try to get you on a little bit of a lower number, uh, try to move that forward slightly and try to just just you know make it more reasonable um, you know as we we move it out but we'll see you know I, I right now he's effectively on a max deal I you, I don't know that you can how sustainable it is Towns Edwards and Gobert all on max deals that seems to be an awful lot but yeah you know, we'll we'll see I mean Tim Connolly obviously invested a ton to trade for Rudy Gobert um we can all talk about how Luca got him and beat him on that one shot. But you know, the reality is Gobert did stay in front of him and made him take a really tough shot that he made because he's Luca. But I like, I, I kind of look at it as Gobert had him right there in the West finals. Like not, not Gobert. I mean, Edwards towns, like other guys clearly yeah. are, you know, the drivers that, but like they didn't hit that level of success ever with this group without him so he's still a really good productive player if nothing else he's the guy who's gonna block shots protect the rim and rebound so yeah i might yeah probably want to get him resigned how much that's that that's the tough part especially you know given the new cba the way everything is lined up we've talked about how difficult it is to have three guys on max contracts now that more teams are going to have to pursue more of like a two-star build and even then you're going to have to bring up new talent. I know there's been a little bit more talk around that. In fact, I think it may have been from the Wolves about developing young talent and bringing that in because was, we're yeah. seeing what happens. Uh, the uh, We saw what happened with KCP. We saw what happened with, you know, of course, Paul George and players like that, even Clay Thompson. As teams start to get expensive, they start to have to make some difficult decisions. So this Wolves team, ultimately, they're going to have some tough decisions to make, and that could include Rudy Gobert. So it'll be interesting to see what, what's the deadline for them to get an extension done with him off of this deal is yeah, it really uh, the end question. of october or or is it an end of the season type thing or all the way to june type thing yeah so because his next year is a player option they can do it two different ways if they want to have him opt in to that to that next year at 25 26 and then extend off of that then it would be before the start of the season um you would have okay. to get that done if if he wants to extend after opting out, that's one that can go all the way out till June 30th. Um, okay. So they've got a little bit of flexibility in the way they can handle that just because of uh, the way that's, that's kind of that's structured with that player option. It's very similar to what the Celtics had with Drew Holiday. Um, he had that player option. Then Holiday uh, ended up opting out and adding four new years um, onto his contract. So that's, that, that's kind of where that's at with him. And then yeah. Nas Reed, Kind of to go back to your question about, um, uh, gosh, now I don't even remember who it was. Oh, Miles Turner. Now I was reading not extension eligible because the contract, the extension that he signed wasn't long enough. So Nas yeah. Reed's another guy who I can't imagine a world where he picks up a $15 million player option because I think he's far outplayed that number Big at time. the very least, even if it's, you know, forcing the Wolves to pay him a little bit more. But then again, I mean, when you got people, tattooing his name on their body and it's just you know the two-word phrase in minnesota of nas reed like why not right i mean maybe he has found his home we've seen i mean malik monk right stunned all of us by taking way less money 
than we yep. thought he'd get in free agency to stay with the Kings because he talked about how he found a home there in Sacramento. Bobby Portis in Milwaukee had done this in the past. So maybe Nas Reed is just like, hey, this is where I'm meant to be and 15 million is good enough for me and we'll figure it out in the summer 2026. I don't know, but yeah, a lot, lot of stuff to come in the Wolves. I'm glad you mentioned uh, Connolly's comments on Rob Dillingham and Terrence Shannon Jr. Yeah. Uh, just their two first round picks. They obviously traded in to the lottery to get Dillingham. Um, those two guys are guys that they're going to be relying on because Dillingham's the uh, eventual replacement for Mike Conley. And then uh-huh. Shannon's a guy who can give them some wing depth, a little bit of shooting and scoring on the wing too, which they don't necessarily have outside of Anthony Edwards. McDaniels is really good. I really like him a lot, but he's more of a stationary shooter type and defender type. And then Nikhil Alexander Walker is much more of a defensive guard than he is a scoring guard. So Shannon, I think he's going to get a chance to play, play also this year. And he's a guy, if he didn't have some of the legal stuff, which he was ultimately uh, completely uh, cleared of all of it, uh, he, he would have gotten drafted higher in the first round, maybe late lottery, sure. probably not, but definitely higher in the first round than 27th. Well, uh, I think the Wolves are, are going to be very, regardless, this coming season, the Wolves are going to be very, very good. Uh, yeah. You've got Nas Reed is the reigning sixth man of the year. They've got uh, they've got a lot of talent here. And, of course, Anthony Edwards on the rise. They're going to be a team to watch. And they are, look, it, it points to how much the NBA believes in them that they are playing opening night uh, against against the Lakers. And uh, this is a team that, that I can't wait to watch because I think they're going to be they're going to be good. They're going to be a lot of fun. But, again, some decisions to to make here for them moving forward. Um, and important to note, they played really well, even though Carl Anthony Towns missed a good chunk of time uh, last season. Ultimately, only ended oh, up being 20 games. But, like, that was 20 games they didn't have him. Now, yeah. given injury history, I think we're probably, I would say he's a 65, 70 game a year guy at this point. But but we'll, we'll, we'll see with that. 